Hey guys, welcome back to Prim Pure Life. So today I have a lip gloss review for you guys and I'm really excited about this. I just recently purchased this gorgeous set of lip glosses off of Amazon and these are from a company called Shani Cosmetics. And if you've never heard of Shani Cosmetics before, you are not alone because honestly, this was a very new company to me. I had never heard of them before. Well, that's not true. I kind of briefly like heard people talk about their brushes, but I didn't know much about the company. And when I received this package in the mail, they gave me a little card with a coupon on it um, that also just said a little bit about the company. And basically, Shani Cosmetics is very similar to like a BH Cosmetics or a Coastal Scents. Um, cosmetics if you're familiar with those companies they have the really large palettes um, with all different colors for a very affordable price um, Shani basically started out as a company that was selling to makeup artists and now they are selling to the public so the cool thing about this company I was actually just searching lip glosses on Amazon because I've kind of been on this kick where I want to try out new products um, that I've never heard of before from brands that maybe aren't as popular and more on the affordable end because I'd like to start getting back into doing more reviews for you guys on cosmetics that are affordable, that you guys, you know, that are good, that, that diamond in the rough type of product that's really good quality for the price. Um, because I'm in the same boat as a lot of you, at least I assume most people don't want to spend tons and tons of money or at least can't afford to spend tons and tons of money on makeup and I know I can't but I still love to play around with colors I love trying out new looks I love you know being able to try out the new trends that come around so being able to find products um, you know like this that are affordable but that work well um, is awesome so anyway I after checking them out on Amazon, headed over to their website to look up more reviews on this particular product, and I, you guys, want to place orders, like more orders from this company because I think their stuff looks so cool, and the reviews that I've seen on the products I've been looking into, like some of their palettes, their lipsticks, their lip liners, and all of that, have been really good. So I'm very excited to share these with you. And let's get into the review. Um, basically, I paid, I think it was $11 and some change for these on Amazon. But you can also order these on Shani's website. I will try to leave a link to the website and to where I found them on Amazon down below if case you are interested. Um, if you're a Prime member, you get free shipping um, and free two-day shipping on Amazon, so just keep that in mind. These are Prime eligible, which is pretty awesome. Um, so I did receive these within two days and I didn't have to pay shipping. Um, but you get 12 lip glosses and they come in this kind of velour style um, plastic insert. They came in this clear box that says Shani on the front. Sorry, you guys can kind of see my messy vanity there. Um, it says Shani Cosmetics on the front and it says these are called the Wanted Ones 12-piece lip gloss set. On the back, it does have a new sticker. I'm not exactly sure how new this is, um, but it does say new. And it also says that these lip glosses um, contain aloe vera and vitamin E. They are supposed to be very moisturizing. Now, one thing I want to preface before I get into any swatches, I just want to talk about the product a little bit first, is that these are a lip gloss. Um, these are not meant to be pigmented like a liquid lipstick. They are not, I didn't see anything in the claims, at least that I remember about them claiming to be highly, highly pigmented. Um, but something to keep in mind is that we've kind of been a little bit spoiled with, um, the whole liquid lipstick trend everybody assumes that lip glosses like this are going to be highly highly pigmented lip glosses originally were just meant to add a glossy sheen and wash of color to your lips in order to top off a lipstick and that is what these babies are going to do for you um they are not pigmented like a liquid lipstick so just keep that in mind but that doesn't mean that they're bad um i do have one on today 
and you guys can see this is definitely giving me some pigment because I actually put concealer over top of my lips before I put this on kind of muted out my lips so the pigment that you're seeing is definitely coming from the lip gloss um, now that's because I added concealer so it's causing the natural color to show through if you put these right on top of your lip color you're going to see your lip color through them like I said these are very very glossy you guys they are so shiny and pretty on they're not sticky, they feel very comfortable on lips, and I definitely would say that they are hydrating. I don't think they're the most hydrating lip gloss that I've ever tried, but they don't dry my lips out, and I do feel like they add some moisture. Um, all of these lip glosses have some shimmer to them, no chunky glitter, anything like that. Some of them have more shimmer than others, but none of them are cream finish. They all have a little bit of shimmer and shine to them. Um, and they're kind of, some of them almost look cream finish until you hold them up to the light and then you can definitely tell that there's some shimmer in them. Really, really beautiful colors. You get a lot of different shades in here. There are corals, there are nudie pinks, there are some berry tones, and then you have kind of like like a bronzy color and then I would say there's one that kind of leans more towards like a lavender ish shade um, but yeah I definitely recommend these I think they're really nice there are a couple cons that I do want to talk about um, when it comes to the packaging one thing that I well let's talk about some positive things first I do love the packaging I love that the um, company name is nice and bold and easy to read on the tube. It looks like a little test tube, which I think is really cool. Um, it is numbered on top. You can see this is number four. Yeah, you guys can see that. This is number four. And the other thing that I love is that the name of the actual gloss is printed on the tube, you guys. So you will definitely be able to remember what the lip gloss is called. These are also cruelty free, as you can see. So the gloss tube is plastic but it does feel very sturdy the cap screws on nice and securely so I don't see these leaking or causing any mess in your purse or your makeup bag which is really nice and uh, um, they are a doe foot applicator as you can see um, one con that I did have with these is that the doe foot isn't as soft as I would like it to be. It's also very hard and not flexible. I prefer my lip gloss wands to be, like the doe foot part, to be just a little bit flexible so I can kind of, um, I don't know, it kind of curves to the contours of my lips, if that makes sense. Um, the other thing is that when you pull it out, the stopper in here is almost too good of a stopper. It doesn't allow enough product to get onto the wand, so you're going to find yourself having to kind of dip back in a couple times to apply it to your lips. However, that will prevent you from wasting product. It's just that it takes a little bit longer to apply the gloss. And like I said, the texture is great. It's not sticky. It's really nice and smooth. Um, and they really don't have any scent. On the back, in the ingredients, I did notice that it mentioned that these glosses um, contain some kind of fragrance, but I don't detect anything. Honestly, they just smell like the tube like I don't really like plastic they don't really have much of a scent so yeah let's go ahead I'm gonna do some swatches on my arm I'm not gonna do any lip swatches but if you guys would like to see that in a separate video let me know down in the comments and I would be happy to do that for you guys okay so let's start with the one I'm holding here you can see it says Shani this is first and last this is just a nice um, kind of warm tone pink more leaning I would say heading more towards a coral and that is what it looks like it does have some shimmer in I don't know if the camera will pick it up because it is very faint this one almost looks just creamy but there are some shimmer particles in there um, there's this next one here which let's flip it this way which is called lustful this is a nice medium pink And you can see these two look very similar. They are sheer. Which, something to keep in mind um, if you're looking into purchasing these, you could probably split this set up if you know some people that would, unless you love lip gloss like I do, but <laughs> um, if you know some people who would be interested in having some glosses, you wouldn't need all of these because 
some of the colors do look very, very similar. Um, this one is in Spell. This one almost has a little bit of a fuchsia blue reflect in it. It's a pink, like a rosy pink, but it has some purple to it. Really pretty. I like this one a lot. And you can layer these up. They go on really smooth. You could definitely layer them up. Um, I did a couple layers to get this color, and I will show you the one I'm wearing in a minute. This is one of the deepest ones. I love this one. I think this is really pretty. This one's called Alter Ego. It's a nice raspberry color. This would be really pretty for fall. Okay, next we have this one which I really like. I like the name of this too. These are all kind of like romantic names which I think is cute. It's this really kind of pearly pink that has some silvery blue reflex in it and this one's called Sweetheart. I love the name of that one. This one's a little bit more pigmented. You guys can see that right there. These would look gorgeous over top of a lipstick or a lip liner. Here is another pink one. This one is like pow in your face Barbie bubblegum pink. It's so beautiful in the tube. But this is the one I probably was the most disappointed in because um, it's almost clear when you put it on. Like the other ones give you at least like a tint which I like in a gloss. I like just a slight tint. I don't like my lip glosses to be that pigmented to be honest. Um, but I wouldn't have minded just a little bit more pink in this one. It's still really pretty and would look gorgeous over top of like a hot pink lip liner. Um, next up I have this really pretty just it almost matches my nails. Um, kind of pearly pink but it does have a slight slight hint of lavender to it. Um, this one's really pretty as well. This is very milky on the lips. It does have shimmer, but what I like about this one is that if you're maybe doing a nude lip um, and it's kind of washing you out, if you would add this to it, it would just add a little bit more life back into your face because it has that pink. Um, next up are the more lavender nudie tones. I have two of them. There's this one here which is called Wild One. Did I tell you what this other one was called? I don't remember if I did this Barbie, uh, like light pink I was just talking about is called Lover, if I didn't say that already. Um, sorry guys, I'm talking so fast. Ooh, I had green tea before I filmed this. <laughs> um, this next one is more of a lavender tone, kind of has like an ashy undertone, and this one's called Wild One. This one has more of a milky consistency as well. It looks very similar in the swatch, but you can see this has a bit more purple to it than the other one. And last for like the nudie colors before we get into the corals is this one here. And this one is called One and Only. This one's really pretty. This would be a gorgeous nude. Um, look really pretty over a nude lip. I really like this one. And this one's really milky also. These three end up looking very similar, so that's why I was saying like if you guys would want to split these up with someone, you wouldn't need all three of those shades unless you're crazy like me. Um, next up, I have the last three, and these are the kind of rusty coral shades. These are probably, to be honest, my favorite out of all of them just because they have the most gorgeous gold shimmer in them. But in case you were curious, this is the one that I am wearing on my lips right now. And this one is called Charming One. And I really like this because I kind of did like some olive green and I'm getting ready for fall. I'm tired of summer. Let's just be real. Fall is my favorite season. I love summer. I'm kidding. I don't want summer to go away yet, but I'm just kind of like excited for fall. Um, but this one has some like rusty undertones to it. So I thought it would look pretty with an olive green eye. And the, this one has so much pigment to it. Look at that. This is probably one of the most pigmented ones. I really like it. Next up, we have this one here, which is called Blind Date. This is like a coral with um, almost like orange glitter in it. Not glitter, but shimmer. This one is really pretty. This would look so gorgeous with like 
I don't know, like army green t-shirt and some gold studs and put this on your lips with like a brown smoky eye. I would love that. It looks so pretty. Um, and then this next one is another one that's really pretty. This one kind of reminds me of like a NARS orgasm color-ish. Um, it has some goldish shimmer to it and it has like a peachy coral look. I think a lot of people would really like this one. Um, did I tell you? I don't think I did. This one is called True Love. And I think a lot of people will feel that way about this one. Can you guys see that? Let me build it up a little bit. I just want to show you guys how you can build these. Do you see that? You can build these up um, to give you like a fuller colored look, but you can see on my lips, these are really glossy. I like the way that they feel. So that is all that I have to say about these. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments down below. I would be happy to answer them. And as always, remember that you guys are loved, you are beautiful, you are special and unique, and no one can tell you any different. Okay guys, I'll talk to you later.